Married girl and unmarried girl vagina is a very interesting spot for any man. By using this G-spot, men will take their sexual enjoyment from G-spot or Grafenberg's spot. Also girls enjoy this G-spot, which is an area that is believed by some to be highly sensitive and capable of producing pleasurable sensations when stimulated. However, it's essential to note that not all individuals may experience or find pleasure through G-spot stimulation and anatomies can vary. Here are some details about the G-spot. Location. The G-spot is typically described as being located on the anterior front wall of the vagina, about one to two inches inside and along the upper side. It is often located near the urethra and is thought to be related to the internal structure of the clitoris. Sensitivity. The sensitivity of the G-spot can vary from person to person. Some women may find stimulation in this area highly pleasurable, while others may not experience the same level of sensation. Stimulation G-spot Stimulation is often achieved through manual stimulation, using fingers or through sexual positions that allow for deeper penetration. Some people may find that G-spot stimulation is more easily achieved through specific sexual activities such as using fingers or a curved sex toy. Differences between married and unmarried women. There is no physiological or anatomical difference in the G-spot between married and unmarried women. The presence and sensitivity of the G-spot are individual characteristics and are not influenced by marital status. Communication. Regardless of marital status, open communication between partners is crucial when it comes to sexual preferences and experiences. Each person is unique and what works for one individual may not work for another. Understanding and respecting each other's desires and boundaries is key. It's important to approach discussions about sexual satisfaction with sensitivity and respect for your partner's comfort and boundaries. If you have specific concerns or questions, open communication with your partner or seeking advice from healthcare professionals can be helpful.